Hello, welcome to Microeconomics, Lesson 3, Price Elasticity of Demand. Price Elasticity of Demand tells us how demand changes for any given change in price. The simplest calculation would be to see by how many percent the quantity has changed in response to a change in price. Whilst this might be appropriate in many occasions, there are cases where this formula is not good enough. The following slides make the attempt of explaining why. Look at this diagram from class. The example featured the sale of CDs. It is available as an Excel file from first class. Let's reduce the price from 30 to 25. This would happen if we increase supply. Let this result in an increase in the quantity demanded from 20 to 25. We now sell 25 CDs at the price of 25. The price elasticity is calculated as follows. The quantity demanded increases by 5, and that is 25% of 20. The price fell by 5, that is 16.7% of £30. The price elasticity is minus 1.5. Now, however, let's do the same procedure the other way around. Let's increase the price from 25 back to 30. This results in a decrease in the quantity demanded from 25 back to 20. We now sell 20 CDs at the price of £30 again. The price elasticity is calculated as follows. The quantity demanded decreases by 5, and that is 20% of 25. The price rose by 5, and that is 20% of £25 too. The price elasticity now is minus 1. Thus, the same stretch on the demand curve gives two different price elasticities. Because that is often misleading, there is another formula that uses the midpoint or average. The midpoint between 25 and 30 pound is 27 and a half, and the midpoint between 20 and 25 is 22 and a half. Relate the change of plus or minus 5 to this midpoint and you get a similar result either way, whether you reduce your price from 30 to 25 or you increase it from 25 up to 30. This formula has more advantages when it comes to the total revenue check. We use this formula whenever possible. But if we have only got data and percent rather than in actual quantities, then we need to use the simple percentage formula. And yes, in the examination you will require both. Please read on in your textbook. Box 3.1 on page 62 explains exactly this concept for you.